I have so many feels about this. Okay. Yes. So um, it's a complicated question with a complicated answer. It is right. So there, there's a difference. Are we talking about the dictionary definition of being trans? Or are we talking about your identity as a person? And those are those are separate concepts. Because if we're talking about the dictionary definition, I mean, being trans means that you are born one way and you identify another way. So yes, you are trans. Um, there are a lot of people who, once they get to a certain point in their transition, they, being trans really stops being a part of their identity and they just kind of, uh, you know, do their best to blend back into society and just live as who they are. And being trans doesn't really factor into their life or their experience or their identity. And, um, and, and I don't begrudge that of folks if that's um, if, if that's where people get to and they, uh, you know, and, and they don't want to organize their lives around being trans or make that a part of their identity. I have zero issues with that. Um, and, and to be honest, I've even sort of had those thoughts and feels myself a little bit like, you know, maybe in five or 10 years or 15 years or whatever, like maybe activism will stop being a thing and I'll just kind of blend back into life and um you know, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. And it's something that I understand, right? Because uh, in a lot of places in society, in a lot of ways, being trans sucks. Like, uh, I wouldn't choose to be trans if I if I could go back and flip a switch. You know what I mean? Um, but but it is who I am. It's it's part of it's shaped uh, a lot of who I am. It's shaped a lot of my life experiences. It's the reason that I know a lot of people that I know through doing activism and, you know, being part of communities and support groups and stuff. So, um you know, there is an argument that uh, the the urge to do that is based on internalized transphobia and in that, like, you know, I think being trans is a bad thing and I don't really like that about myself. So I'm going to say that I'm not. And, and I think that's probably lacks some nuance. I think maybe there's a little bit of truth to that. Um, but I also would never go as far as to criticize someone for for doing that if that's how they choose to, to live their lives. But I've also seen this dynamic where... Uh, and it actually happened with someone in my community, someone that I used to have a lot of love and respect for. She basically got to that point in her life. She had finished transitioning to the point that she wanted to transition. And um, she basically decided that she wasn't trans anymore. And um, and again, someone who chooses to live their life in that way or feels like that's how they need to live. I have zero problems with that. But she also went as far as to criticize other people who had reached whatever point in their transition and saying that they weren't living their lives fully as women or fully as men because they were still stuck in activism and still stuck in the trans community and they weren't living their, their lives fully as men or women because of that. Uh, and that's something that I obviously have a huge, huge problem with because that's, that's not even internalized transphobia. That's straight up transphobia, um, uh, coming from within the trans community and that's disgusting. So yeah, I guess that's my really long and, and sort of nuanced answer. Anybody else have thoughts to hear this and more? Check out the Gatheist Manifesto podcast on iTunes and anywhere else podcasts can be found. If you like what we do, head over to patreon.com slash the Gatheist Manifesto and get involved in helping us bring about fully automated luxury gay space communism.